Hello everybody, welcome back to Puff Tab Estonia. I'm Amin and we are right here in Black Nights Film Festival, right in Tallinn, Estonia. And today we're gonna talk about a film. Anna Lol and then Neguna, a producer, and Marta, the writer of the film, are here. And we're gonna talk about a film and uh, see what is happening in there. So, how are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> doing great. We are doing Super, <laughs> that's wonderful. Okay, so uh, let's open up the topic and go through the film we have brought to the festival. So first, let's talk about the idea. Uh, let's not open it like totally, because we're gonna talk about it later. Just the main idea, how you got the general idea of the film and you started to writing. Say how it was. Personal, personal. Uh, I, I don't... <laughs> I never thought that that would be a film. She didn't thought about that it will be a film at all. All right. Okay. Interesting. I never thought that that would be grammatically, and and that's really this. Yeah, and and that time it was uh, thought only about a book, and that's it. All right. Ah, okay. And then you you just developed it as a script, and then you thought, okay, I'm gonna maybe make it like or I can give it to the director to make it maybe. Or a little bit uh, in another way, uh, director <laughs> got uh, ah, material uh -huh. on uh, his hands, <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, asked Marta to write a script as well. Okay. Uh huh. So you got the, the director a bit impressed, and then. <laughs> you got the job. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go a bit further and let's now open up the topic in a way that what is what's the content of the film. So the film basically addresses and investigate a sort of big problem for most of the people. Uh, that uh, sort of crisis that you feel when you are aging, basically you're growing up and then you are facing some sort of problems and you're thinking like, what is going on? Like, what am I doing with my life and this sort of stuff? So could you talk a bit about the film, that how the film actually explores these sort of issues of adulting, basically? Every generation actually has to have own film about themselves. Exactly. And uh, for Latvia, for a very long time, nothing had happened in this way. And uh, only last few years, because probably generations change, changed quite a uh, Rapidly and also situations uh, in which they are living uh, with all those technical uh, development and uh, social media development uh, also are changed. And uh, that's why actually it's a very important topic. Uh, one thing which is even more important, actually we talk about suicide, mm -hmm. among especially among young people. And uh, of course, film is not exactly uh, directly about this. It's more about uh, uh, those who are li uh, living uh, on, um, on the side of a person who actually somehow managed to do a suicide. Mm -hmm. So um, the big problem is that no one talks about this and it's very hard to understand when uh, and why it happens, only when it happens already. And um, that's why, and we also talked with uh, other people, of course, uh, and uh, actually also here in Estonia, we found out that young, with young people it's not so easy, they are really doing, or at least trying yeah. to suicides. And it's, and percentage uh, of uh, this action is quite high, exactly, yeah. in the Baltics. And uh, from this uh, side, it's very important uh, uh, because film uh, is a kind of, um, tool for uh, allowed to talk about this so saying hey hey there are some other people who are uh, struggling or uh, and uh, you can open up and talk about this and uh, and then you can get easier through it uh, so that's why I think it's very important to show as much as possible True. In Sure. And, uh, yeah, and, and uh, thanks Marta, who actually lived through also this experience and this very, very real, realistic, real life uh, experience. And also th thanks uh, uh, all young people who participated in the uh, making of this film. It's not only on the screen, they are also behind the scene. Uh, and uh, uh, thanks to all of them, uh, actually, we managed. All right, to nice do one. It. 
Okay. So let's um, investigate and review uh, the script a bit more since we have the script right over here. So we get this, start. yeah, <laughs> we get this golden chance. Uh, all right. So uh, the first about the character. So how did you actually develop the character in a way that they actually feel how she feels? And you made it in a way that it's a real to feel. It's comprehensible, it's digestive, and uh, it's easy to believe first. Beside that, it's a real thing that mo- somehow we can half or more than half of the people we can feel that feelings when they are growing up. Uh, or thinking at least about suicide once, day, once, a li- once in the life. So, uh, but beside of that, uh, could you tell about the uh, process that you grew uh, the um, character and you made it believable? Viņš ir ticams tāpēc, ka tas ir no manas dienas grāmatas. Es esmu tas, uh, tas varonis. Vienkārši nu, to nospēlē cik meitenes. Actually, meitenis. there is no need to develop character, because uh, main character is Marta herself. Ok. Uh, and that's written in. Uh, bravely written in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and bravely played by uh, main actress. <laughs> ok, so she has basically developed the... Uh, another character that exactly is same as her own character it's a real real personal character and yeah, l- yeah. script and yeah. okay so you Be- because because uh, script is uh, very close to Martha's own diaries mm-hmm. okay yeah all right so but there's some uh, diaries that the, the character itself also has it right mm-hmm. so uh, does those uh, so you said that he, she has, she actually used those diaries in there. So now I actually got my equations answered already, and uh, uh, understood that basically how it works. So you got inspired by your own diaries as well. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> I just asked, and I got my own answer. That's a wonderful. This is the point <laughs> of film as well. Yeah, yeah it opens you to. Uh, Asking and then yeah. you can no, loudly asking, then you can get answers. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Okay, this is the magic of the film. Great yes. job, great job to the Analog film uh, crew and cast. <laughs> all right. Okay, so let's go a bit further and think about um, think and talk about uh, um, post production. So, how was the process of post production in the film? It was actually very long. Mm-hmm. It took um, close to even a little bit more as two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, why it was so long? Because it was not so easy to edit. Exactly, editing was a thing which uh, took uh, most time. And uh, yeah, people can say, okay, there's no much money. We can, uh, that's why not do things. But no, not this in this case, uh, because uh, we really, uh, focused on uh, trying to get a uh, first of all st- story understandable uh, for audience who n- knows nothing about story before and uh, of course material was a huge amount it was a real it was really shot like a documentary mm-hmm. kind of which means it's a huge amount of material and to p- put all this together it just took time yeah yeah, I mean, logical. I really want to say a big uh, thanks to our editor. Uh, she is, uh, uh, name is Gunta Ikere. She actually has 50, um, close to 50 years editing experience, but she edited only documentaries before. Okay. And actually, I think this is our big uh, luck, have her on a, is a, in a team, uh, because she really knew how to manage, put uh, really, qu- no, it is very documentary yeah, story, sure. how to put it together. So big thanks. Yeah, having me. an experienced person in the group makes it double, like, it's like a bonus. And yeah, uh, yeah it's a golden, basically, member of the group when someone is uh, experienced. In- interesting. Okay, um, so uh, about the film, uh, again, that um, in what way do you guys think that uh, young people should actually have that sort of same vibe and same feeling with the problem that Anna has in the film. What do you think about that? In what way they will feel close to her? Man, šis vispār kopumā, jo tā visa filma ir par vispār to pieaugšanas procesu ar visiem tiem stragliem, ar kuriem visi jaunie cilvēki agrāk vēlāk saskarās, sākot no kaut kādiem 
15 līdz pat 25 reizēm. Un tas nav atkarīgs ne no valsts, ne no nacionalitātes, ne no kā cita. Tas ir nu, tāds pieaugšanas process, tāpēc arī cilvēki, jauni cilvēki nu, jūt līdz tajā nai un, un spēja nolasīt to Jā, mesedžu. Bet... Uh, basically, because it's really coming of age, so there are processes uh, through which uh, everyone has to go through it, and it is not, uh, it doesn't depend on country. <laughs> mm-hmm. It just young people's uh, coming of age, yeah. And uh, sometimes, and it starts from 15, uh, and sometimes until exactly. 25, True. so it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a crisis, yeah, yeah that you have it's to face a, it. To, it, it, it Everyone faces it in uh, own lives. All right. Okay. And uh, I, I guess the director is not here, but it's a good question maybe as to ask from the screenwriter is that if you had this possibility to go back in time and have this possibility also to change the script, what would you e- add or remove or what would you... You wouldn't even touch it. Man liekas ir ļoti grūti izmainīt scenāriju kas ir balstīts uz dienas grāmatu, un ja tu scenāriju grib tā kā ļoti, ļoti tū, tam, tam, tā, ja dienas grāmatu tā ir dabūt, tad, man liekas, tur jau īsti nav ko mainīt, vai... Es ka īstenībā nav ko mainīt. Nu jā, īstenībā nav ko mainīt. Actually, it's close enough to diary, and you want to do this. Actually, at the moment, is nothing to change. <laughs> All right, okay, that's, that's nice. All right, thank you so much for coming up. It was wonderful to have you guys over here. And I hope you guys having successful career with this film in upcoming festivals also, as same as Puff. And yeah, thank you so much again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And once again, thank you so much for watching us. Don't forget to check our social medias and there is just a couple of days left from Puff. So just get this golden chance and come to Puff and watch the films that are still having screenings over here. And that is pretty much it. Peace out. <laughs>